silent tree through the dark night. You listen. It's been really, really busy. I've been uh, in the studio a little bit, uh, and then I've been doing a lot of interviews, of course, and talking about uh, my my part in the Eurovision and. Uh, yeah, just uh, hectic, very hectic, and very fun, a lot, lot of fun stuff. Preparing part starts about now. Um, uh, we're gonna do some rehearsals with the uh, choir singers, and uh, we're gonna uh, try on some clothes. And see if they fit and uh, also work a little bit on the choreography but the, the number will be uh, very similar to what I did in the Norwegian finale so I don't have to do a lot of I don't have to do like a lot of choreography and, or anything like that to face the attack you save for cowards there's no reward there will be something new but I can't reveal what that is but there will be Something new. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind a little bit of pressure. I think that um, I'm a grown woman, and I can I can take it. Uh, that we are one of the favorites is just flattering and very encouraging, and uh, and I think we'll, I respond very good to positive feedback. Uh, I've heard a lot of the songs, uh, I think I've heard about 15-20 songs. Uh, um, actually, my favorite this year, it's kind of boring because I'm from Norway, but it's actually Sweden and Denmark. I think they both have two really good pop songs that I sometimes walk around uh, singing myself. So I guess the na neighbor countries are for me the, the biggest competitors this year. Ireland in 1994 with the song called Rock and Roll Kids. I remember I used to cry when I was a kid listening to it. I love you Eurovision, vote for me!